Um, so what we have here is a very, very rare, original C manifest for the clipper, the Sea Witch, which was a boat which was involved with the uh, tea clipper races from Shanghai to London in the Victorian era. And this is the original ship's manifest from 1852 of that particular boat detailing all of the names of all of the crew and all of the cargo that she Stop was holding moving. during that journey. Now apparently the Sea Witch was one of the most famous tea clippers of that particular era and one of the fastest. Um, and as you can see it has all the original seals and stamps yes. from... Let me try to do a short slow pan so we can see. Wow, this is beautiful. This, oh, this is, is the original the, writing? This is the original document Wow. that was given or had to be submitted to the government before the boat was to leave on its journey from London all the way to Shanghai. So and bearing in mind they would have had to sail all the way around the Cape of Good Hope. Yes. Around Africa. Yes, South Africa. Yeah, so this journey would have taken roughly about six weeks. So hold on, I, I was filming, I didn't follow. How old is this thing? What year? 1852. 1852. So and how the, 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 the writing, the handwriting... Yeah, this is all calligraphy written in ink. In ink, so that's why it's pen. amazing how it's still still there. Look at that, it's gorgeous. And the writing is beautiful. Yeah. People, and we, don't, and we don't know how to write like this anymore. Hello, what did it say? Can I read? I can't even. It's so beautiful writing that I can't even. That's probably for me the most exciting about, thing about this thing is, it's this handwriting. And what's this? That's the seal. That's the seal from the wow. government, from the Royal Navy. And the seal looks like like brand new. Wow. Yeah, this is real silver inside there. Silver. Wow. Yeah, inside the seal. Gorgeous. <clears throat> And the stamp dated the 29th of April, 1851. 1851. So it's amazing. London, in London. 1851. Here's the date. This is gorgeous. I might get this actually for me. And this. Oh, it's. Wow! So here. You have all the details of the money that was borrowed or invested in this particular... Can you read this? Yeah, so basically it says 120, 200 pounds. Oh, it's the listing. The list is the manifest. So basically manifest. details all of the funds that were collected to go and buy and, you know, this whole trip would have cost, let's say, 10,000 pounds. And they would be given the money by investors and these investors would write down their names and the amount contributed to this particular trip. So they would go all the way to Shanghai to buy the tea because the first ship back with the freshest tea sold it for the most money. Okay, and that's why they always invested in the fastest boats because they could be guaranteed on that date when they all left Shanghai that their boat would return back to England the quickest. Which and by doing so, they would get the highest premium price for their tea. At that time. Still the same principle now. <laughs> so the Sea Witch, you're, you can actually research this particular vessel and see pictures of her. She was a very, very fast tea clipper. So be, I so mean, here, for me, this is here, the most valuable so thing. So here's the total amount. So they basically raised three thousand, three hundred and three thousand, three hundred fifty-four. This is two thousand guineas. Guinness, which we Guinness, which is the old uh, pound, yeah. A old guinea, pound. Oh, yeah. right, right, right. Guinea, Guinea. Yeah. So twenty thousand. God, this is gorgeous. And it says for me, this is the most valuable thing. If I if I own this place, you can put it in a plexiglass, mm -hmm. two sided, mm -hmm. in the middle of your living room. Yep. And this, uh, this is the most beautiful. The, uh, this handwriting. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, the seal is gorgeous as well, and uh, this is gorgeous. And you know it's a, that's not a fake. No, no one does a fake. No, no, no. This I is mean, a, impossible. This has come from a good story. Impossible. So where did you get this from? This came from Philadelphia in the US. From a client over there that was selling it. So I bought it. And you just got it, right? No, just came to my house yesterday. <laughs> we are in Phuket, by the way. In uh, Simon's yeah, yeah. Art Gallery.
How long have you been in the business of Chinese art dealing? Oh, since I was 14. Since he's 14 years old. So, a little bit of knowledge. I myself have learned quite a lot. I'm totally ignorant about all this Chinese shit. Oh, uh, shit, sorry, stuff. <laughs> Objects of art. Objects of art, very valuable objects. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.